So you're wondering how to get started with affiliate marketing. Many videos that are out there will tell you you can do affiliate marketing and not spend any money. The way I'm going to show you is where you do have to spend some money and set up some things. Um, I do have a video to show you how to earn passive income without spending money. There is a way, but it does take longer. So what I'm going to show you today, there is money involved. So I don't want you to be misinformed or think that that's what this is about. So let's go over eight steps of how you can get started with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is really one of the easiest ways to start making money online. And number one, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up a website or a blog. And you might say, I don't want a website. I don't want a blog. I actually was like that in the beginning, but I have since found out that that's kind of like where your home base is. People, the more they see you, they're going to check out your website. They want to make sure you're legit. So if you've been out there for a while and you're starting to create a bigger audience and people are watching you and following you, the first thing they do, same thing you do is they'll go to your Facebook page. They'll check you out on your website or on your blog. You don't have to blog on your website if you don't want to, but I am also finding out that if you start to do that, it actually brings more traffic. And there are ways that you can actually put other people's articles on there. That's something you want to research. I'm not going to get into that today, but your goal for step number one is to create a website or a blog and think of it as your storefront, your home base for your business. Number two, number two is you want to start, uh, choose an industry. There's three different industries in marketing. You have health, the health industry, the wealth industry, or the relationship industry. You want to stick with one of those three industries. And I know in the beginning, sometimes you have all these great ideas and you want to cross those lines, but people want to see you as an expert. And once you solidify yourself as an expert, then you can kind of start trickling out and giving advice in other areas. If you notice some of the bigger influencers will do that. Um, there's, uh, I know I watch a podcast, it's called The Millennials, and they started out doing a lot of their podcast about how to become a millennial and how to get less stuff and all that. And then all of a sudden they're talking about relationships. So, and I, and you sit and you listen because you know that they're experts in the other area. So you get to branch out later, but right now try to become an expert. Now within that industry, you want to choose a niche. So if you choose health and fitness, you want to maybe focus more on the exercise component or on the food component. And then even there, you can niche it down some more. Are you going to try to um, target men or are you going to target women? Are you going to target um, Then Once you do that, are you going to target a certain age group? And then are you going to, if you're in the exercise industry, are you going to go to yoga, lifting weights? Um, you may be a runner. So see how you can just really start narrowing that down. So really think about your niche within that industry and something that's going to make you stand out and be different also will help you immensely. As you're thinking about your niche for number three, you want to start reviewing, uh, researching it and make sure other people are looking for it. You may be really interested in Basset Hounds, for instance, and how they like to play in the snow. I'm just thinking of something bizarre. And then you research it and there's probably not a lot of people that love that. So maybe there are, um, but make sure there's people out there looking for what you want to provide. And then that way, when they go searching for you, you have the answer to their problem. So all you have to do is go to Google and just pretend you're searching for it and put the question in. And then there's a number right below and it says how many searches there are per month or per um, minute or whatever on, on that little search. And you can find out if it's popular. Now you want to be careful too, because if it's too popular, you're going to kind of get lost in the, the, the field, if that makes sense. So you, you want it to be looked for, but you don't want the field to be overpopulated. And then number four is you want to sign up for an Amazon Associates account. Uh, Amazon Associates program is an affiliate program and anybody can sign up. It doesn't cost anything. And you have a million gazillion products right there at your fingertips. It's a great way to get started. Their commissions aren't super high. They're like seven to nine percent but it's very easy to go in, find some products that you want to promote. You put them on your blog or your website and you start promoting them. And I also have a link below where you can learn how to use Amazon to promote affiliate marketing products. And it's a really good training. It's by somebody that has made millions of dollars. Um, so go ahead and make, uh, hit that link below if you want to get in more depth of how to do that. So here I have the first four steps written out for you if you want to take a picture of that make sure you hit the link below because it's all about making money on amazon and how you can start your business using that um, 
Now let's go to number five. Now, while Amazon is a great place to find affiliate marketing products, there are other um, different uh, sites out there, network companies out there like ClickBanks, um, there's JVZoo, um, all kinds of other companies, Share a Link. They all provide affiliate products as well. So just start doing your research and Googling and you want to spread out a little bit and not just be with one company, but you want to be with different companies. Um, I always feel like if something goes wrong and one company shut down for the day or not working, or maybe they go out of business, you always have another backup plan. Number six, this is the one that actually is a lot of fun. Um, it's probably overwhelming at first, but then once you get into whatever you're doing, it's actually, in my opinion, the most fun. It's called create your content. You want to start writing articles if you're blogging about the product that you're selling. So you start doing things like reviews. Um, if it's a, a product like you're a tutorial, it could be something about how to use a certain type of software. I know I like to promote active campaigns, so I might go in and do a review and show people what's in there and how to manipulate it and things like that. So it's kind of a little tutorial as well. And then when people hit the link and they want to sign up, I get a commission from that from their membership. So you can, you can go in any direction that you want with this but you also may have an email marketing list to go along with your business and um, you start to promote your products through there you can promote your products on YouTube <laughs> um, different posts some people like to promote their products um, by doing Facebook ads and things like that so you have to start thinking about creating the content and then how am I going to get it out there and drive people to my website or my blog so that they will see it and then click those links so that I can make a commission. Now, when you build your website or your page, you wanna optimize that page. And what I mean by that is you use certain keywords that people are searching and the algorithms and Google will pick them up and then that drives traffic to your site. And again, that's a little bit more in depth training, but you can also track and find out where you're ranking with your YouTube video or with your website. And when you find that out, you can say, okay, I'm not ranking where I want to rank. So now I'm going to tweak it a little bit and change some words and my search engine optimization and get it out there so that people are finding it. And that's really the key after you build the content is getting it in front of people's eyes. And last but not least, do it again. You're going to do it over and over again for each product that you have so that you can start making commissions on those products. Now, I also have another training below. It's called Affiliate Marketing Secrets. And this one goes more in depth of using, um, finding various products. The first one is specifically about Amazon, if that's really what you're interested in. And if you're interested in a variety of products and how to make money, it's more about passive income and learning how to um, go into the market and find different products, then you want to use the other links. So there's two good, really good trainings down there that I highly recommend if this is something that you want to do. So today, these eight, eight steps just give you an idea of what you need to do to get started. And after that, also, before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my link, um, to my channel. I would appreciate it. I will keep continuing to uh, give you videos just like this one, information to help you get your business started. And then check out those other links below as well. And I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.